In the last movie I made an existing floor plan, showing what areas were existing, what parts were demolished and so on. This time I need to show the contractor the new parts, so I need to hide the demolition, I need to hide things that don't relate, and I'm going to create something I call a framing plan, which shows doors and window openings only, it doesn't show the swing of the doors, it shows all the dimensions and it's got the notes on it, it's got all the window numbers, lintels and so on. And you can see I've got too much information on the screen at the moment. So what I need to do is to hide some of this information. Now if I've got Vectorx Architect, Designer or one of those other ones, I can use this tool, the Visibility tool. And I've got it set up for Classes and Hide, and I can just click on the things I don't want to see. So I don't want to see Demolition Notes, I don't want to see the area, I don't want to see the joinery, and so on. But if you come back and do this on a regular basis, you should really set up a saved view so that you can just click on it and it turns off all the information that you don't want to see. And that's a really quick way to do it. So now I've got that information, I just need to create a viewport from this. So it's going to be view, create viewport. This is going to be my framing plan view. And it's going on a sheet layer called framing plan it's and I'm just going to get that correct because I'm going to copy that I'm too lazy to type it so I'm just going to copy that uh, let's have a look and put it on the framing plan it's going to have a drawing label and it's number one and I'll paste that in there what layers do we want to see just the walls what classes it's already set all the classes that I want so all the stuff that's turned off is the way that I want it top plan view Click OK. Now you'll notice that I didn't bother to put a crop around this and so I've ended up with lots of information that maybe I didn't want. What I'm going to do is to crop that. So right click, edit crop, and I'm going to put in the crop object that I need. So there it is there, that crop object. Now my plan is also too big to fit on my page. I'm going to rotate it. This object here. We're going to rotate this left, so right click and rotate, rotate left 90 degrees. That should do it OK. And let's go right click, edit my annotations, and we'll go right click, rotate right 90 degrees. I can put that there. So that should give me enough room for my title block. I can steal my title block from the other page. So I'm just going to change back to the other page grab my title block, copy it, go back to my framing plan view, paste it, and then there it is. Now you can see it's still a little bit in the way, so I do need to move this across. I'm just going to move that across, and that gets my dimensions out of the way. So it's just enough room to fit that on the page. Now you'll notice that my dimensions have fixed themselves. They're automatically rounded or turned around so that they're in the right place. This dimension is a little bit tight, so I could right click, edit my design layer, and I could move that dimension, this one here, I can move that one up just a little bit, and that should fix it, return, and there it is, it looks much nicer. That's a quick way to set up the framing plan view. There's still some work I could do by adding information to my design layer, and if I add it to the right classes, that will automatically turn up here. If you've enjoyed this movie, why don't you hit the subscribe button, and don't forget the bell so you get notified when I post a new movie. Thanks for watching.